Welcome to your NHL Picks of the Day. Here with us is handicapper Dave Golikov to share his free picks. Hi Dave, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. That's great. Okay, let's start with these games. Could you walk us through the games you find some value, giving us a brief analysis and your final selection on each matchup? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we're back in action on Friday, just a couple day games on New Year's Day. Now we've got eight to choose from. Let's start with Minnesota and Toronto. You know, truth be told, I kind of like Toronto in this spot on the side, um, just because I think it's a lot of juice for the Wild to be laying, considering how much they've been struggling. But at the same time, Toronto has been struggling too, so I'm not going to take the Maple Leafs here. I, I kind of like them, but I'm not recommending him, them as my main play. The main play here is going to be the over. Take a look at the Wild. They have lost six of their last seven games, and the issue for them is... Uh, allowing pucks into the net. They gave up 3.58 goals per game in December, which was the second worst number in the NHL. Toronto's had all sorts of goaltending issues as well. Uh, they've given up three goals per game in December too. So I think uh, you've got two bad defensive teams. The Leafs are a pretty good offensive team. I think we get the over in that one. Next up, I like another over, and that's in the Islanders and Flames game. You take a look at the Isles. They've been playing a lot of high-scoring games. In the month of December, their games average 5.85 goals per game, so that's more than, obviously, the 5.5 that we see tonight. They've scored three or more goals in four of their last five games. They have played overs in 10 uh, of their last 13 situations uh, in a game where they scored four goals or more in the previous game, and, and they did score four or more in their uh, last outing. The Flames... You know, they're an offensive-oriented team as well. Uh, they've won four straight. Uh, offense is the key for them, too. They've scored 14 goals in their last four games. So I think you match up those two things and we get it over. And lastly, going to do something crazy. Um, I don't know exactly why. Maybe I uh, took drugs this morning. But I'm going to take Buffalo at home as a, uh, as a dog. Buffalo's been horrible again. But... The reason why uh, I don't think uh, I have actually taken any drugs, and I think there is some logic here, is because, um, you know, Buffalo just, uh, they're, they're a decent home team, and you take a look at the Panthers, they're a, you know, a mediocre road team, a subpar road team, I should say. So you got the, the Panthers here laying minus 140. Doesn't make a ton of sense to me. The Sabres 10, 9, and 2 at home. Panthers, you know, 7 and 11 on the road. And, uh, you take a look a couple weeks back, Florida actually played in Buffalo, and Buffalo won that game. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, in many ways the line makes some sense. I, 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 you know, I was thinking maybe Florida minus 120 in this game, minus 115. But at minus 140, I'm tempted to take Buffalo. They have been a good home team this year. So as bad as they've been, I'm going to take a shot with them. And, and I do realize that that's a crazy pick. So that's our picks for the night. Okay, great information. Thanks for your selections and for your time and good luck to everyone. This is Silvia for SBR Picks. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.